In this short documentary, I go over the process of creating an encaustic painting for San Jose City Hall. I was contacted in 2009 by local curator Robin Treen. He was seeking large-scale artwork to be installed in San Jose's new City Hall. I jumped at the opportunity to take part. Encaustic waves start with on-location shoots using super telephoto lenses and underwater housings for my digital equipment. With the underwater housing, I'm able to shoot directly inside the wave. It gives me the opportunity to capture the movement. The City Hall image was an extreme close-up of a wave crest. At completion of the photography, I began to assemble the materials necessary for the encaustic painting. Here I can be seen mixing raw beeswax, damar resin, which is a tree sap that comes from Indonesia. The two are mixed together to create an encaustic medium or a clear fluid for painting. Here is a time-lapse image of the two blending together. It's necessary to create a rigid surface for the encaustic wave. Here I can be seen in time-lapse building one of three frames that will be used for the triptych. After completing the framing, I move on to painting the first layers of encaustic medium or clear beeswax onto the surface of the composition. With the clear wax completed, I start painting in color using colored beeswax which is prepared previously. All the colors I use are custom made using dry pigments mixed with encaustic medium. An encaustic painting requires constant fusing or reburning of the surface. The word encaustic actually is an old Roman term meaning to burn in. Here I'm using an old 1940s iron. While the first layers of blues and greens dry off, I move on to doing white. Each layer of white is also fused using, in this case, a heat gun or paint stripper. The wax is heated, it becomes fluid on the surface and moves around. Here the blues and greens mix in with the white. I move on to further layers of blues, whites, and greens using a brush to build up a dimension in the wave. Here the iron is used again to continue the glassy effect from reheating the wax in this manner. final layer of blue using the iron helps saturate the color in this area of the encaustic painting.
Here I use a brush to scumble in the white paint, building up the texture of the white foam area. The last layers of white, blues, and greens are added in to help intensify the shading underneath the curl of the wave. I then prepare the materials so that I can add in the wax seal, a red stamp that both indicates my name and adds an element to relate the composition to Japanese printmaking. Here the custom stamp is imprinted into the red wax Layers of encaustic paint are added to the sides of the painting and the piece is near completion. Finally the encaustic painting is buffed out and prepared for transportation to San Jose City Hall. Completed triptych is mounted with each of the three panels butted against each other to create one overall 12-foot composition. The completed composition will be on display through summer 2010 at San Jose City Hall. For more information about, please visit www.benhecht.com.